got the X, I got the X, maybe you thought you won, but I'm still undefeated. Hey guys, just before this video starts, if any of you guys are looking to buy or sell any cheap Rocket League keys, items, crates, anything you want, AOEAH is a third-party website that buys and sells any items across any platform. If you want to check it out, use the link in the description and use code XYZ on your checkout for 6% off your order. Hey, what is going on guys? It is XYZ here as per usual. Today we are back. We're going to be doing a 100 crate opening, but today I wanted to do a little bit of my own personal testing and see out of, in my opinion, the five most valuable crates to be opening right now, what are uh, my best odds? Like what, what crates will give me the best luck? So personally, uh, value wise, I think the top five crates are player's choice, vindicator, ferocity, um, totally awesome, and then Spring Fever. So those are my top five right now that I think are the most valuable to be opening. I believe I said all five of those, yep. Um, I'm gonna start with Vindicator, because why not? I figured I'll just start with that one. I do have to actually, though, I gotta fix my macro system that opens up crates for me. But personally, I think the Vindicator, the Vindicator crate is one of the most valuable crates because you get shattered in here and the neuro agitator which on average the titanium white and black versions go for like 80 to 90 keys each right now roughly um and then obviously creepers painted black or white are a good 20 or 30 keys depending on which color you get so i think all the top tier items in this crate are quite valuable um so that's why i have been choosing to open up some vindicator crates all right let's see can I fix this real quick? All right, um, repeat when run down. All right, hopefully uh, should be fixed. There we go. Sorry, uh, that took a few seconds. I just needed to fix my macro system. It basically just clicks the left arrow key, enter, right arrow key, enter, which basically does that. It just instantly opens up the, the crate for me. So that's pretty nice that I don't have to worry about um, opening up crates each time. But honestly, if we get any painted exotic or a black market today, we're looking pretty good. Um, I would be happiest to get a black market in either the Vindicator crate or I believe, um, I think, what was it? Um, the Ferocity crate, that's what it was because I believe that has Hextide and Shattered in it. Or am I am I tripping? I I honestly can't remember. There's one crate that has both Hextide and Shattered in it, I believe, and that is I think the most valuable to get a black market out of. The most valuable to get an exotic out of, personally, I believe, is the player's choice crate because you know you got chances at white Dracos and um, uh, white Zombas, obviously. So those are the best to get exotics from. I think best to get um, imports from would be a close one between either, uh, what is it, Ferocity? Is it Ferocity? No, it's Totally Awesome Crate because of the White Fennec, and then Spring Fever because a lot of those imports, if you trade them up and get, say, a Striker Painted Illuminata, a lot of people don't actually know, Striker Painted Illuminatas are worth quite a bit right now. Um, they weren't, I mean, uh, I mean, they were a lot higher, in the past but over time as more people just kind of opened up the crates over time just it, it happens people just open up the crates it occasionally drops another striker painted illuminata into the supply chain so all of the collectors get another one in circulation there so it drops this uh, drops prices a little bit over time but right now i do think that um, it is still good to get imports because the trade-ups from that crate are very good that's just my personal opinion I would hope for some white zombas today, but with only 20 crates, I don't think it's going to happen. I could keep my hopes up, but I'm just going to be honest, guys, I don't think it'll happen. <laughs> I mean, who knows? Pickapixel got, I think, 9 black markets and 500 crates. He just posted a video about that yesterday, um, which absolutely blew my mind. Um, he told me about it before he even posted it, and I'm like, how did that even, like, how do you even get that many black markets and, like, 500 crates? Because I think that's what, like one every, like, 56? No. It's one every, like, 55.5, basically. Oh, okay. Um, let's see, what do I want to open up next? Spring Fever, maybe? 
Yeah, Spring Fever is nice because you got, as I said, Illuminatas and then um, Painted Mainframes, good thing. Painted Solar Flares and then also a Dissolver would be a nice thing to get right now. But basically the jackpot of the Spring Fever crate would be Painted Illuminatas or just the imports to trade up to them. In all honesty, like, this crate, value-wise, is pretty good. I think I started with 20 of these. Hopefully. Hopefully I counted that right. Did I? Yep, we're on 18. Yep. I had perfectly 20, and I figured that's just... Like, I was thinking, um, I kind of wanted to test which crates were the luckiest for me. And I didn't want to just open up, like, five of every crate, like other YouTubers do. Because, one, I would feel like I'm just copying the idea that's been done by every single other crate opening YouTuber. And, two, it kind of defeats the purpose because I already know that there are some crates where... Even if you get really good luck with black markets, like even if say you get a black market every 20 crates, it still wouldn't be that good value wise because some of the black markets in certain crates are just not worth it at all. So that's why I figured I'd pick and choose the specific crates that I know are the best value and then I'm just kind of testing my luck with each one a little bit. And Exotic, come on! Oh, certified, certified, okay. The exotic luck is good from what it looks like in this crate for me. So, hopefully we can walk away with one painted Illuminata today. Got a painted springtime flowers there. It's pretty nice. I honestly got my hopes up so high there. I thought I was going to get a painted Illuminata when the exotic popped up. Because uh, I was just talking about how the jackpot is like striker painted Illuminatas. Every time an exotic pops up, there's just that small chance, you know? I would be so mad if I got a, uh, a butterfly's exotic, though. Not gonna lie. It would tilt me a little bit. And uh, to those of you guys that may or may not know, um, after crates are removed in the next month, I believe, they're going to be removed, uh, they announced that golden crates... Butterflies. They announced that golden crates are here to stay. So gold pumpkins, gold eggs, all of that is here to stay. So as a YouTuber that opens up crates, I um, I actually saw this coming. I said in a video about a week or two before they announced it and confirmed it, I said that it was a bit odd, in my opinion, that they specified in all of their announcement uh, announcements about the crates being removed, that they specified that they were removing paid crates. Why would they specify that they were removing paid crates if they weren't going to, uh, I mean, if they were also going to be removing the, the free crates, which I figured, like, they're specifying it for a reason, so that people kind of get the hint that, like, hey, these free-to-open crates, you don't pay anything for them. How can it be gambling if it's free to open? So they have the law behind them on that aspect where, you know, there's no child gambling, all that. That's, the, that's what the big controversy is about. That's why they're removing crates. So it's nice that there are still the free crates to open. So I went ahead and traded for... I'll show you guys in uh, just a second after this crate, but I went, I went ahead um, and in the past month I traded for about uh, 3,000 uh, golden egg 2019s and then like I had like three or 400 of the 2019 gold pumpkins, but since that announcement was confirmed I went ahead and bought 2,852 2018 golden pumpkins which are the most valuable golden crate which have both Zombas and Dracos and have the same chance of getting painted Dracos and Zombas as the player's choice crate and I went ahead and got another uh, about 1,600 gold eggs 2019 to stack up on those because I feel like these are all going to go up in price because who doesn't love opening crates you know it's just a fun experience in general like and I also kind of wanted to stock up for a lot of videos like th there's two ways I could be profiting off of them essentially like in the future when all the regular crates are removed I can keep up constant crate openings by having the best crates in the game and having 3,000 of them is pretty good I mean in the past week I haven't been able to find any more so I'm pretty sure I bought out most of the supply on the market that's left over from the past like year and two months I think year and a month since the uh, 2018 gold pumpkins released so it would be a bit interesting to see what happens if like I'm the only person that has a major chunk of them remaining in the market. I'm just so excited for the future. Honestly, there is a lot of changes coming, but I am excited for it. Before the um, before the crates get removed, as you guys may or may not know, uh, it'll be the last time that you can trade up legacy uh, 
crate items, which means basically any of the crates that you opened up, if say they gave you imports, rares, very rares, it is your last opportunity to trade up all of those items that you got from those crates. So I'm going to be doing a massive uh, few weeks of trade up videos. Maybe I might even do just one big stream if you guys support it enough, um, where I just trade up all of the imports that I have gotten. Ooh, Lime Certified Zombas, or the Saffron, I believe, actually. Sorry, I misspoke there. They are Saffron. I'm happy with that. Painted Zombas. I'll take that. Only nine crates into the PCC. We got our first Painted Exotic today. That is very good. So, so far, it looks like Player's Choice Crate is the most, uh, or the luckiest crate uh, so far. But as I was saying, guys, I'm very excited for the changes that are coming. You know, I'm going to have a big trade-up video with all the last crate items I have, um, which, it, you know, it's a bit sad that, like, I won't be able to do CC4, PCC trade-ups anymore, but I'm happy to see where all these changes take us, because I've been, I've been doing a lot of gold egg openings and gold item, or gold series trade-ups, uh, I'd say more than any other YouTuber has. Oh. Ooh, we got a dissolver today, boys! Yes! <laughs> Oi, Pick a Pixel just jumped on. Alright. Let's see. Okay. Hold up. Hold up. Let's see. Where, where are you at, Pixel? Yo, what's up? Uh, Yo, there you are. I was just messaging you. Um, I just want to thank you for the crate luck. Uh, you know, you <laughs> you sent me an invite mid, mid crate opening, and then I pull a dissolver. What? Yeah? I just want to thank wait, you, man. Wait. Easy, I'm telling you, score right now. Score, first score, but, yeah, yeah. Well, actually, I would like that because, as, as you may or may not know, I am uh, collecting score black markets. Well, there you go, then, Guardian. Oh, oh. <laughs> Rip. <laughs> damn, yeah. Damn, well, been cool. if you want to, if you want to just jump in, open a few crates with me, I wouldn't mind. Um, I was actually just testing, uh, what luck of mine was the best. Um, out of the five most valuable crates to open right now. I was doing PCC, okay. uh, well, 20 of each, so Player's Choice mm -hmm. crates. I already did Spring Fever. Um, I already did Vindicator, and then I still have to do Totally Awesome crate, and there was one more I'm forgetting. Um, I think Ferocity. Yeah, Ferocity. Oh, yeah, yeah. Honestly. So in your opinion, what do so, you think is the luckiest kind of out of those crates? The luckiest crate? Yeah. Um... Uh, for me, I think, let me just check, because they're definitely, I know I have one. I have a crate that's like the one. Um, hmm. Is it? I, it's one of the newer ones. I can't remember which one. I feel like Totally Awesome was pretty good. Yeah, Totally Awesome with um, White Fenix spiking in price. I figured they now made the top five. For kind yeah, of most I did not. I, I, my mate was like, "Do you have a Fennec?" He was giving me free crates, like, "Do you have a Fennec?" And I said, "No, you know what? Have have this one, the white one, because I, I just don't look at the prices. I just assumed it was like six keys by now, like oh every other import gosh. car, and I just gave it to him. And then, um, I saw, I think, a comment on my video or something, and I was like, "Wait, wait, what?" So I looked up, and there were over fifty keys, and I'm like, "I just gave that for free." Yeah, <laughs> like, honestly, the value. <laughs> um, Statistics wise is in the imports for this crate. Like if you get any Fenix, it's pretty good. Cause statistics wise, yeah. you're more likely to get imports more than black markets. So even I've... if a uh, crate say has like mainframe um, and shattered or something like, like two really good black markets, I still mm. feel like the totally awesome crate value wise is better because you're more likely well... to get your money back from getting painted Fenix. That, yeah, that's, that's what I said when, when the crate came out. I said it's the best rares I've ever seen in the crate, the best very rares I've seen in the crate, the best imports, and the best black markets for a while. Yeah, yeah. But the exotics were just kind of like, yeah. yeah. the exotics <laughs> are trash. And then Magma and Voxel are... Uh, but I mean, yeah, Hextide and Shattered isn't bad. Like, it's, I a, am, it's a good, it's some I, good old one. Yeah, I would clear. be very happy getting any painted Hextide or Shattered. Mm, yeah, true, true. Uh, by the way, this is Pick a Pixel. If you guys don't know him, um, I, I would assume that everyone from my channel would know who he is. Oh, you recording? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> All right. oh, okay, I see. I see. Yeah. So wait. So what are you doing now? Are you still open the crates right now? Oh uh, yeah, I'm screen sharing to you on Discord. Oh, okay, I'll tap out. Yeah, I figured if you want to do a 
to watch. Yeah, I got um, 14 more totally awesome crates, and then I had one more 20. I think it was Ferocity that I was going to open. Hopefully get some yeah. special edition Zowies. Yeah, what, where's the value in that crate? I can't really remember. Special edition Zowies, probably, and Hextide. Oh, Hextide, right. I, I'd say out of the top five, it's probably, like, the lowest of the five for most valuable yeah. crates, but... I feel like, though, that's just be partly because it's the older of the, the new crates. So like, Player's Choice well, is always going to be choice. valuable, yeah. mm -hmm. because... If they, um, if they re... Uh, resync the uh, player's choice or revamp I guess is the right word for it uh, the player's mm -hmm. choice after they're turned into blueprints so like you know the blueprints yeah. of the series would be different yeah that would have been such a stacked crate because think about it shatter yeah. neuro they, yeah, agitator, say they, yeah. <laughs> mainframe and hex tide mm -hmm. those four black markets and then it would have been zombas I feel like they'd keep dissolving zombas right creepers and dracos probably would have been the three exotics in there which would have been insane yeah. Yeah, Painted Fennec! Oi! <laughs> Alright, I'll take that. Nice, nice. Forest Green, unfortunately. Yeah, I forgot. When Totally Awesome first came out, on the first day, I opened up 25 and got a white Fennec when they were like 20 keys and just quick sold it. The next yeah. day. Or no, later that night. Down. Later that night, I got one Totally Awesome crate from a game, opened it up, Titanium White Fennec, quick sold it for like 25 keys. <laughs> yeah, and you're like, yes. Yeah, because in that's my a fair, opinion, like, in my assumption opinion, to make that it's I just go down don't like that. the Fennec and how it looks. Like, I'd rather use a Merc because it's the same hitbox. Uh, no, it's not. Yeah, hip, uh, Octane, Merc, Fennec, they're all the same hitbox. Oh, really? Yeah, oh. yeah. I was oh, surprised okay. when case, I first learned, yeah. The, um,. Yeah, the white the white Fennec was a win. I mean, like, I gave one away free, but I, partly I did it because I had a stack of three. So that does mean I still Jeez. got two. Like, and I just didn't know that I was just sat on like 150. Yeah, keys. honestly, honestly, <laughs> I'd recommend selling those out soon because I feel like once they get kind of close to octanes, well, actually they are like basically right on top of the octane price. People are gonna start to be like, hey, if I'm gonna put this many keys into it, why not just get a white octane instead you know so i feel like the white fennec but, the, but i think the reason it. it's going up is because people are actually using it that's the thing i guess like, yeah. it's the first it's the first time an import car is actually being used not as much as the octane but more than anything else by a long way yeah and it's also uh the fact that the pros are unintentionally manipulating the price up because they're using it so much and giving it so yeah. much publicity that everyone else uh -huh. is like hey well if the pros are using it that must yeah. mean it's like that's really I mean, good yeah. or something which is uh, it's mm. It's an unbiased, yeah. I mean, it's a biased fallacy, basically. Yeah, yeah, like yeah that's, think, but I mean, that's hey, normal, like, you, use, yeah. you should use. That's why Gold Rush and all that is, well, there is yeah. a bit more into Gold Rush with rarity and everything, but if all the pros yeah. didn't use it, I feel like it wouldn't yeah. be worth as much as it is right now. Yeah, yeah, I mean, and then, the, like, <laughs> Jayza, back in the day, with every, like, Freestyle Friday video, would almost accidentally manipulate the price of an item. If he's using something, it would just go up. You know, at one video. point in time, at one point in time, I can confirm I had Jayza's Goldstones while having Lachinio's Gold Rush. Hey, I remember I was I was playing yeah. so well that week. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, I traded him away, but I, I was like, I mean, that was a piece of history right there. Lachinio's <laughs> Gold Rush and yeah. Jazer's Goldstones. I wish I could have had enough funding to keep them, but got to keep flipping them, trading them every day. Are you, are you, do, you, do you trade alpha items every day? or not, um, not every day, but quite a bit. I'd say there was one week, my busiest week, where I literally... Uh, traded for and traded away about three to four octane. I mean, uh, not octane sets. Uh, alpha sets total. Damn. Yeah. How much is an alpha set right now? Like um, six, six, seven, Gold six, Rush six, is five. like thirty-eight hundred keys at at a, at a fair evaluation. I'm just going off like middle yeah. of the high and low ends probably. I'd say mm -hmm. Goldstone uh, probably like nineteen hundred is middle of high and low. Oh really? Um, okay. So that's so like what fifty-seven hundred. And then Alpha Cap right now, people are offering like 330. So. Yeah, so it's like 6,000. Like 6,100, 6, 6,150, something like that, I think. Yeah. Fair. Yeah, it's crazy how much they're worth right now. Like back in the day when I started trading like four or five years ago, I could have gotten one for 600 keys. I could have gotten Five years ago. Like, like four years ago when I started trading, Gold Rush was, I think, like six or 700 keys.
It was yeah, yeah. Stupid I didn't know. How low has it was, trading yeah. always been in the game since it came out? Um, yes, trading was was not originally in the game. It was added oh. to the game. I, I, I don't know exactly when because I didn't play at the time. But trading was oh. added about around the time when crates were first released. I think it was oh, either. So that, was only, that was three years ago, I think. No, because I started crates, playing. Crates, crates were three years ago. years ago. Crates came out in 2016. Was in September. I'm trying to think. The game, now. The, the, the game only came out in July 2015, right? Um. So I, I thinking, don't know. Have I, I only played I, for I, three years then? Yeah, see, I, I feel like, yeah, four years, I don't know if you have. I started, like, I started. That, you would have had your own stuff. alpha items, yeah. right? I think. No, I, I didn't have any. I think I opened up 20 ferocity crates. I honestly have no clue. But from what <laughs> it seems today, player's choice crate is, in fact, my luckiest crate to open. I mean, I got a dissolver and a painted Zomba from it, Ooh, which was the only painted exotic bad. I got all day today. I'd like to thank you, Pixel, for your amazing <laughs> luck you gave me with that uh, Guardian Dissolver. I'm, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm, I can't wait to watch that. <laughs> like, yeah, I, I, yeah. Like, it, the timing, how Black that Market down. pops up in the bottom right corner. Pick a Pixel has invited <laughs> you to play a game. And I'm like, what? He wants what? my Black Market! <laughs> yeah, literally, I just know. I just see it on Psyonix CCTV. Like, Pixel's like, I feel like X is going to get a Black Market here. Let's just invite him real quick. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I will... Um, Hopefully remember to link Pixel's channel in the description for oh, giving me a black market. So thank you guys <laughs> all for watching. Peace out.